Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoven's Nest. Welcome to my Holly Jolly Christmas DIYs and decor series. Today I am going to be working with two of these buffalo check napkins that I grabbed at Kirkland's when I was in Texas two years ago. That's how long they've been waiting for a project. Since they've been folded up for two years, they've got a little bit of creasing in it. So I'm just going to take my iron on the cotton linen setting and go over both of them nicely so they're smooth and there's no more wrinkles. I have a sewing machine and I do like to sew, but I wanted to show you this iron on hemming tape, which is something that anybody can use. I've found it at different dollar stores, but most of the time I get it at Walmart. You can find it in different thicknesses. This one is about a good inch wide and that's going to be okay because it'll really look nice when the pillow is finished. Oh, by the way, I'm making a pillow out of these if you haven't already guessed. What I've got is the napkin with the wrong side facing up at the bottom and the top one is the right side facing up because I want to glue the two wrong sides together. All I do is just lay it on the edge and then I'll fold the napkin on top of it and then press it very gently with my hot iron. Now the trick to not having your fabric move is just taking your iron and setting it down onto the fabric and not moving it back and forth like you normally would when you iron. You're just gonna wanna set it there for a few seconds and then you're gonna wanna pick it up and move it to the next spot. So what I'm gonna do is continue that for all three sides of the napkins, which are going to become the pillow. And I'm going to leave one side open because I'm gonna need to stuff it later. I also wanted to mention that my video today is part of a Look for Less collab that has been hosted by Jamie over at Board or Bananas. Now, Jamie does a lot of thrifting. She does decor. She does some DIYs, some hauls. You've got to go check out her channel. She finds the most amazing things and does some really pretty DIYs. So I will have her channel down in my description box along with the playlist link so you can see all the things that everyone has created for less. So this is the project I'm recreating, a buffalo check reindeer pillow. Now I don't have any black fabric so I needed to go into my stash and find what I had and I found this white faux fur so I decided to use that instead. Here's the reindeer head that I'm going to cut out of the faux fur. This came from a free printable that I will have linked down in my description box. I decided to use the pencil transfer method as you can see here. So what you do is you go over with pencil and you want to press fairly hard down with the pencil so you get a good amount of residue on there. The next step will be to lay this pencil down onto my fabric and trace it again. I don't need to have an exact image so I'm just going to use the end of my sharpie and get a general outline of the reindeer head. So here you can see the faint outline of the reindeer head on the fabric and I'm taking my fabric shears and I'm going to start cutting it out. Now working with faux fur is a little tricky because it is so thick and you get all sorts of stuff hanging around because all sorts of the little hairs start coming off. But I'm just going to take my time and go slow take some small cuts instead of real large ones and move the fabric around to make it easier to cut. So here's the reindeer head shape and it's sort of not looking too great right now. So what I'm going to do first is just take off all the excess fur that's just hanging around in there that's not attached to the actual fabric and then I'm going to have to give it a haircut. It's going to need some trimming around the edges to bring out the shape and I'm also going to trim the length of some of the fur in some of the spots because it's just a little too long and you can't see the proper shape. I'm also going to need to just trim up the one antler set on the left hand side. It's a little thicker than the one on the right and I want them to look somewhat similar.
So here's my little reindeer head. I think he turned out pretty good. I have him with the fur facing down onto the table. So the fabric part is on the top and I'm taking this iron on hemming tape again. It's very easy to just tear this into smaller bits and pieces. And I'm gonna just cover the whole back of the reindeer head with it. Now I'm just going to take the front side of my napkins or my pillowcase as it is and I'm going to just lay it very gently on top and then just use my hands to feel where he is. Come in with my iron and then just hold it in place. Now remembering too that I've got two layers to get through here so I'm going to be holding it a little bit longer and I'm going to go over it a couple more times just to make sure that it's going to stick properly. So here he is, he is completely stuck on the napkins and I think it's just adorable. What I'm gonna do now is just take my utility knife here and very gently score any of the hemming tape that is sticking out. It's really super easy to just cut it and just pull it right off. So I'm just gonna go around and clean him up. Now the fun part is stuffing him. I'm using a pillow that I got from Walmart. It's basically just a regular pillow that you would use for sleeping. And I've opened it up and I'm going to take the stuffing out and put almost three quarters of the bag into this. These napkins are 20 inches by 20 inches. So this is gonna be a fairly big pillow. What I like to do with my stuffing is to just grab a chunk and then pull it apart a little bit more so it's light and fluffy and then I'm just going to work it into the pillowcase. Here's my pillow all nicely stuffed and full and fluffy and he feels so cute. What I noticed with these napkins is that one was about a half an inch longer than the other so I'm going to need to fix that before I can put the two ends together. So I'm taking some of the hemming tape again and I'm gonna just place it at the very edge and then just roll this edge up about one hem width. Now I'm just gonna take another piece of the hemming tape, lay it down on the bottom again and iron the two edges closed. Here's a look at both pillows side by side. The one on the left is $48. Mine is $10. If you like this video, I'd love for you to stick around a while. Hit that subscribe button. Those two black arrows will show you exactly where to click. Thank you so much for watching to the end. I really appreciate your support. See you in the next one.